so clock tree power is again a function of latency and the transition of the signal so so, so the so 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 the worse the transition the the, the more is the amount of uh, clock tree power that is getting lost so let me give you an analogy over here so for example we have a person who is running for example let us let us assume that this is a race course there is the race is from point a to point b and there is a person who is running from this point to this point without any breaks because there are there is nothing there are no buffers there are no repeaters in between so so the, the, so this person is running from this point and continuously running and reaches till this point without any break so in that case he loses a certain finite amount of energy and he loses a massive amount of energy in that case other than uh, there is one more case let's say if the person had, had been running from this point to this point taken a break had had a cup of water and then again ran from this point to this point taken a break had a cup of water and so on repeated over here then then the amount of energy that would have lost would have been less but in this case since the person is running from this point to this point continuously without any breaks that results into huge amount of energy loss